Nowadays, the old-fashioned walk down the aisle is taking a high-tech turn, and there are lots of new gadgets and apps out there helping couples take those traditional I do's up a notch, way up. Here's ABC's business and technology correspondent, Rebecca Jarvis. When it comes to tying the knot, couples will do almost anything to make their day memorable. Extremely memorable, from taking the plunge at 13,000 feet. To saying I do under the sea. But as this wedding season kicks off into full force, there's a new way to keep up with the Joneses. Forget something old and something blue. This year, it's all about the new. A little weird to read that there's going to be drones flying in the air. Taylor and Samantha Sinclair had the ultimate tricked out high tech wedding in California. The couple won a contest thrown by The Knot and Mashable, who used every digital detail they could to dream up their big day. Monitors to track the bride and groom's heart rate as they walk down the aisle. GoPros tucked in the bouquet to capture the moment. Robot bartenders. And of course, ample selfie sticks. Reading it on a list was not worrisome, but it's a little weird. It's a little weird to read that there's robots at your wedding. It's a little weird to read that there's going to be drones flying in the air. You never know if that stuff's going to be accepted by everybody or yeah. stick out as being different or off. Some people may say that using technology for your wedding day may make it a little bit impersonal. But I would argue the the opposite. I would say that if you're using it in very subtle ways or in certain ways, it can actually make your day and your event much more personal. And at Dube 3D in Soho, they specialize in making your wedding more you, literally. Dubes are really, even though it's you know, it's this amazing technology. It's all about sort of capturing these really special moments. So you had a lot of people coming in making wedding cake toppers. The so dubbed dubes are exact 3D printed replicas. We can go right over here and you can practice your pose. The exact kind of customized flair Hanley and William were looking for their June wedding in Georgia. That looks great. What we thought was really fun is that these wedding toppers aren't just wedding toppers, they're actually us in whatever pose that we wanted to pick, whatever we thought would most represent who we are as a couple. And we've decided we want it to be a surprise for our friends and family. So when they come and see the wedding cake, they might walk by and be like, that's them. <laughs> First, the couple picks out the perfect pose. I think it looks great. A big smile. <laughs> then they step into the scanner where they're photographed from every angle and the printer takes care of the rest. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah. You make a puppy hair. Another big trend that's taking off, drone photography. About 40% of the weddings we do, they're all using drones. All right, guys, stay just like that. Now give me a circle. Brian Ozgovich at Park Avenue Photography says it's quickly becoming a must-have. We interact the bride and the groom with the drones, and the guests love it. We're going to do the rice throwing ceremony. The drone's going to come right on down. They're all going to wave. The bride and the groom are going to kiss, and then the drone is just going to take off. It's just going to look like it's coming from a spaceship. This is the year of the drones. It's the new thing now. Everybody loves it. Yeah, that's beautiful. And now even the wedding dresses are going high tech. I've designed my whole collection in a sort of modular way where a girl can select her top and select her skirt. My wedding dress was a top, a bottom, and a belt. Three different pieces that did not go together, that by the way. Together, Why creative. can't I do it my way? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just had an epiphany where I thought, what girl wouldn't want to say, I love the top of this kind of dress, but the bottom of this kind of dress. Rebecca Schoenfeld created an app so brides-to-be could find the perfect fit. So this is the technology. You have your model who actually you can customize here. You can change her hair color, her skin tone. Let's try just a different top just for fun. The process is so easy, I can design a gown. What if I wanted to try the sterling? The sterling is amazing. Try the, the Amy skirt. That's it. I could see you in that. I love yes. that. And in a matter of minutes, voila. Yay. <laughs> you look beautiful. <laughs> Some people might hear the term high-tech wedding, and that sounds cold. It sounds impersonal. What do you say to that? Why not be able to, you know, do your research for your wedding gown at midnight, 
after, after all your day's work is done and you can just relax and focus on something. So the technology um, is just really more helpful and a great way to like organize your thoughts and be more creative. Of course, all these features come at a price. A 3D replica of you and your bow can cost over $400. Drones? That'll run you an extra $800. And Schoenfeld's dresses can cost up to 5,000 bucks. But if you're looking for a touch of tech and sticking to a budget, there are plenty of free sites and apps out there too that can help you keep to a schedule. Wed Happy is an app that lets you track all the many different tasks that you have to do before the wedding day. It will ask you to put in your wedding date and then throughout the many months ahead, it will ask you if you've done invitations yet, have you hired an officiant, uh, sort of where you are in that process. And the alerts and the notifications and the reminders are really great and keep you on track. Or even coin that perfect hashtag. TheWeddingWire.com has created sort of this fun hashtag generator that by putting in your first name, your last name, and your partner's name, it will generate a hashtag that is specific for you and your day. So here we have Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds. It will reveal the hashtag, hashtag Lively Reynolds mashup. And if you're not into that, you can hit it again, Blake Weds Ryan. As for the Sinclairs, the technology wound up playing a key and sentimental role in their ceremony. Samantha's mother, suffering from cancer, was unable to attend. But through live streaming, Taylor and Sam were able to bring the event to her. I knew she would be able to live in the moment as if she were here, in a much more comfortable way. Five and five, four. four. The thoroughly Two, modern affair five. turning out to be their fairy tale ending. After seeing everything come together, I may not have picked everything, but it is my dream wedding. For Nightline, I'm Rebecca Jarvis in New York.